All right. My friend Terrence says that I need to start documenting the things that I do. So I just got a little she shed and I like the color, but I want to add the same siding as my house to it. And I have some leftover siding. So I am right here starting my first row. I figured the first row is the hardest because it was kind of hard to level it out. And once I get that level, then it should all be easy peasy. Anyway, this is the start. Say hi, Jimbo. Jimbo says hi. All right, this is the beginning stages. I feel like I just want to start off a starter video of what I'm working on right now and uh, the end result I don't know how far along that's gonna be but anyway let me say hi today hi so I'm getting ready to put more paper up here and cover up the uh, insulation and then I'll stop with more wood excuse me Terrence says, Terrence says I need to video stuff. So I'm gonna start videoing. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. This is why I'm hot. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. I'm hot because I'm fly. Oh. You ain't not. This is why, this is why I'm hot. I'm hot cause I'm fly. You ain't cause you not. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. Shorty see the drop. Ask me what I paid and I say yeah, I paid a guap. And then I hit the switch that take away the top. So chicks around the way to call me cream or crop. They hop in the car, I tell them all aboard. We hit the studio. I record, I gave them black train, and I did you wrong, so every time I see them, man, they tell me that's the Working on the ceiling, and I'm barreling the ceiling, and it, I'm having difficulty. See my earrings on the floor? That's me getting fed the hell up and irritated and throwing my earrings down. But this is the, this is killing me right here. And first, before I even try to do that, I have to bend the wood. So I've been, I wet it, and I put bricks on it, and I bent this shit. My back is killing. Okie dokie, Merry Christmas. I'm just keeping everybody updated right here. I did up there, I was very nervous. It took me a week to get the nerve to go up there and do it. Down here was easy. I did all of this. And I did this today. Is, this, is it today after Christmas? It's Saturday, yes, I guess so. All right. I, have, I haven't videoed in a minute. I totally wrapped the, the house with the paper. And now I'm attempting to drywall. Um, for some reason, you would think that it's very easy to find the studs, being that you can see the studs right here. But these studs are not even the same size every every bay, so that didn't work out for me. But for some reason, I cannot continue down in a straight. I have tried to use this stick and draw a line and, and try to go within it. It didn't work. I'm still missing the studs. I did it over here. More screws because I can't find the damn studs. This is crazy. But for my first time drywalling, I think I'm doing a damn good job. My speaker stopped, so I have no background music. Parker's out here playing. There he goes. There he is. Hi, Parker. Say hi. All right, that's it.
Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Here is the end result. I hope you are as pleased as I am. I'm going to tell you a little bit about each project. As you know, I did everything in here. From the floor to the ceiling, from the rooter to the tutor. Okay, this over here was that $45 ugly, humongous, like, file cabinet that I bought from the Big Reuse. I wallpapered it, painted it, I drilled holes in the top, and I put a, a hanger pole for clothes to go in there. These are my, I'm still not, not finished. So here's that. Um, we can go back around here. I'll go around. Um, let me see. I redid over this antenna, this little vintage antenna. I love it, love it, love it. I like this little, my little vintage gold framing thing. I love my cat, Suzanne Max. Shout out to her. She's got awesome vintage stuff. She dropped them off and came, they came from Maine. They're dope. I know that. Okay. I love my floor. And I, I can't even believe that I found this, this rug to go with my floor and all the colors of the couch and everything. So we're going to go from here. This is, of course, the phone to nowhere. Hello, front desk. Hello, hello. I need new sheets. All right. This right here is my gorgeous neon sign. When it gets lit up, it's going to look like it's floating. I love that. This is my Rolodex. Shout out to Suzanne again with the candle. These are real dice. I mean, real uh, domino pieces that you can play with. This was a birdcage that I turned into a plant holder. I love this vintage piece. And of course, my African art. I reframed out all the windows. Um, I'm going to show you what inspired everything. This is like a pillow cover. And I found it at a flea market and I decided it was awesome and it was going to be the inspiration for everything. <sighs> all right, now. I framed out all the window frames. I blacked out the windows. They were white vinyl, as you saw. And this is my vintage couch that um, has a pull-out couch in it. This right here, I painted over this three times before I decided on this color right here of the mirror situation on the wall. Um, the poles, I took little wooden dowels from Home Depot, chopped them up, bore holes in them, and put uh, drawer pulls in them, and uh, use a hook and eye right here to make these to hold the poles. So I don't need a, what you call them? I changed the feet on this right here it had some old-fashioned matter of fact they were covered in the same fabric uh the, the wooden legs round sweet, round thick legs and i ordered those legs from etsy i think and i put those legs on i just want you to see of course you know i got hdtv i want you to see some of the things in here that i have who is that who are those people some of you don't even know who the heck they are i do i remember hold on i remember all right moving right along 50s i don't remember the 50s these are were uh, uh, supposed to be plant plant stands, nesting plant stands, and I turned them into little coffee tables because it's a small space and it's open, and I wanted it to be open. This, if some of you might know, in my age bracket, this is what you put your telephone or your phone book on. No Googling, no Alexa, none of that crap. You go to the Yellow Pages and you find the number, right? All right. And I did the wall. Um, these right here are vintage fold-out chairs. I repainted them, reupholstered them, and I brought them back to life. You'll see the picture out when I was starting to spray paint this outside i gotta speed this video up it was black this was um stainless steel so i bought some uh cement look that's what i want to say cement look i guess so yeah wallpaper i wallpapered it i painted it a slate gray i added this piece i cut this piece of wood and added that there for extra shelving um and i did this backsplash right here the marble uh i did that i added that to jazz it up some um then i ran wallpaper that happened to match the floor all the way up the back actually this was supposed to be cabinets here like kitchen cabinets um but at the last minute i found this and I thought that was way more economical than buying cabinets, buying a countertop, buying a sink. This whole thing came together. I just had to personalize it and put the name on touch on it. All right. I love my artwork. This is my little wine rack. I love the artwork. There's no power room. I just said that. All righty. This right here was that horrible white metal cabinet. You saw that video of me and my mother picking it up from Brooklyn at this vintage spot. I, I uh, sanded it. I, I stripped it. It had eight layers of disgusting paint on it. I changed the knob to some real nice expensive knobs. And um, I put this chalkboard paper over the ugly mirror that was in there. And I made it my coffee bar. As you see, it is coffee time. Hold up. I cut out a shelf to fit my coffee machine. I also bore out a hole to put the plug through it. And these are my vintage uh, cup and tea set. No, what is it? A cup and saucer. Yes, 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 yes. We'll go over here. One of my favorites. They were... Uh, they were, um, what were they? They were wood. And I painted them and I love it. Actually, these candles were white because I couldn't find a uh, color. And I was like, well, let me see. And I spray painted them that color. And uh, it looks gorgeous to me. So, oh, I have to show you my door. Hold on a second. Oh, up here, you saw the video. Oh, I didn't show you my ceiling fan. Up here, there's no mattress up there yet. But I did mirrors and then I did the faux brick. And then over here is this fabulous, fabulous ceiling fan. It's 56 inches uh, long and it is lucite. It is clear. I think that's dope as hell. I merged the ceiling from the slats. We all know I got those from the dumpster. That took me about two months to do. And then I barreled it over top of the loft. You all saw how that was such a pain in the neck. And then I had to stain it. And I didn't think about staining it until after it was up. So that's another story. Right here is the door, which is also going to be a clock. 
I don't have the hands on it right now. I didn't finish, but I did make this. I didn't make the macula, whatever macrame, but I did the diet, the colors of the house, and I put all that on there myself. And I, as you see, I made the sticks and all that kind of stuff. But that is it. That is my big reveal.